what's going on YouTube Alex 991 back again once again to talk about something a little um, <laughs> to talk about something very personal to me um, and that is what Pokemon means to me and what it's meant to me over the last 20 years and I know there's many Pokemon who did this, but this is, uh, this is actually a My Pokemon Journey tag video. And I haven't been tagged by anybody to do this, but I figured, hey, why not get the chain, chain started? And so, here I am. And before I say my three people who I want to tag, I'm going to talk about, um, my my Pokemon journey um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started so here are some questions um, this uh, before I actually get started on this this Pokemon uh, my Pokemon journey tag video idea was started by um, uh, I can't really remember what his name was um, but if I remember it, I'll put it in the video, uh, uh, after the video has been made and as well as in the description down below so you can take a look at his video and get an idea of what's going on. So here I go. Question one, when did you start playing Pokemon and what was your first game? I started playing Pokemon right when it came out. I was one of those Gen 1ers as people would love to affectionately call them, or unaffectionately call them, and my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Red. And it was also in that game that got me to choose Charmander. And for the longest time in that game, um, I, uh, Charmander was the only Pokemon that I really, really, really trained, because many people back then just love training their Charmanders and uh, just yeah the little guy was with me and it didn't really ever got so well because you know training one Pokemon is not exactly the greatest thing in the world unless you leveled up to like a level 100 which I'm not sure if I did can't really remember that far back but but yeah <laughs> I started playing Pokemon back in 1998 which I think at that time, I was seven years old. Because <laughs> that's when Pokemon came out in America. And it was Pokemon Red that got me first started. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of memories. And it was also the game I chose first when it came out, when the games came out on the eShop. So, you're going to see me live down memory lane once again. Question two, have you ever legitimately completed the Pokedex in a Pokemon game? Actually, no, I've never been able to legitimately complete the Pokemon Pokemon Index in a Pokemon game before. I think the closest one that I've ever actually done was, was Pokemon X and Y when it first when it first came out and I was just trying to collect mini Pokemon, see what we can find out there. And it's actually the closest I've ever been to. <laughs> and I think to this day, I feel a little bad that I haven't been able to uh, legitimately complete the Pokemon Index. And I want to try that someday. So, the question is no, I never completed the Pokemon De po 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 Pokedex. Uh, if you were a gym leader, what type would you specialize in and what would be your ace Pokemon? Well, I think it goes without saying that my Pokemon type that I would specialize in would be Fire type, because everyone knows that that um, my Ace Pokemon is Charizard, and it would have a Mega Stone. And come on, let's face it, we're gonna have gym leaders with Mega Stones. There's no way that we're gonna not that we're gonna not have that. And yeah, it's gonna be like a Fire type based Pokemon gym. And I would specialize it around making sure that I could be able to 
um, beat many different types of Pokemon. And I think for me, it would be it, I would be uh, doubles gym leader, uh, doubles Pokemon gym leader, where you got where you guys had to face me using two Pokemon at the same time on the field. And it is for that reason it would be a Mega Charizard Y because that would be my ace Pokemon, having Fire Blast, um, Solar Beam, Focus Blast, and I think probably Earthquake. Although I would probably choose Roost instead of Earthquake because I'd like to keep that Charizard in the in the game. Because it drives a lot of team support and hammers so much at the same time. So, yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> a fire-type gym leader with, Char with Mega Charizard Y. Most original answer in the world. And question four. What has kept you a fan of the franchise for all these years? Now, I'm going to admit something. I didn't really make it past Gen 5. I never really got into Gen 5. My last Pokemon game was Pokemon Diamond. And for reasons I can't explain, I just stopped playing the Pokemon games until X and Y came out. I don't know what pushed me away from Pokemon, but I still got into the Pokemon fandom in terms of like the internet and I could see many things and as I looked on some stories about Pokemon and what it meant to them it just reminded me took me back to times when I when I played Pokemon I never was the kid with the the, the cool kid with the link cable and whatnot and it was um <laughs> it was interesting it is I don't know why I fell out of it and now that I am back into it the reason why it just seems so trivial because I just look at at this amazing franchise that um, <clears throat> that um, brings people together because that's what Pokemon was about it was about bringing people together making friendships and and it just sort of made me realize that I could never really leave this franchise so, um, question five. If you could change one thing about the Pokemon games, what would it be? <sighs> now, this is actually the million dollar question right here. Um, if I were to change one thing about Pokemon, I think, for me, it would be, uh, HMs is making a way to have different means of of using um, certain amenities like HM Fly, um, Dig, Waterfall, Surf. Because I played Pokemon, uh, I think what was it called, Zeta and Omicron, and they had, and the creator who did that had ways of um, of using the fly mechanic without actually having a Pokemon learn to fly, which was the jet bat, the rocket boots or the jet bat, or I don't know what it was. And there was a, and there was an inflatable Lapras where you could use it to surf. And I would just love to see that in the Pokemon games. I know that, and for the longest time, and it's been really apparent with Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you have to have Surf if you want to explore some of these areas to complete the Pokemon P Pokedex, the Pokedex, and I just think 
Pokemon, the Pokemon company is making more and more conveniences for Pokemon fans out there. They came out with they came out with breeding where you can make the best po best possible Pokemon you can, you can make. They presented with ways that you that you can with secret ways that you can refine your Pokemon breeding to make it more likely to get the Pokemon that you want with the IVs and the EV with the IVs that you want and they've also had super training which for the longest time EV training was just over my head <laughs> and with super training it makes it easier for you to understand what you want and to keep track of what of how many how many EVs that you put how many effort values you put into and I would just like to see them make another convenience with with the HMs and that's one thing I would change question six assuming the franchise continues for that long do you think you will still play Pokemon for 20 20 years from now now I'm sure this would make people take a step back and just think about that for a second but for me I'd actually say yes I would continue playing Pokemon 20 years from now and I would think that 20 years from now I'd have kids that and during those 20 years from now I would think I would have kids and I would pass on what I grew up with and I would introduce them to Pokemon. I would first introduce them to Pokemon Red and see see what I what I grew up with, so that they can understand about what drew me into Pokemon. I mean, at first they might just be like, "Oh my goodness, look at this monochrome graphics!" And it's like, "Oh, what is this music? It's weird." It's and then, after that, I would introduce them to the newest generation of Pokemon. Give them a Pokemon... Give them a Nintendo 3DS. Give them a, po a Pokemon... Um, Celeste, or whatever Pokemon game version that they come up with. And just tell them, go out there. Find other people with Pokemon games like that. And make friendships. If you're gonna, if you're having such a hard time making friends, do that, because that's what Pokemon does best. There's this thriving community where I've heard about other people like Tamashihiraka, who was one of the most isolated kids out there, but then she discovered Pokemon and she, and she found other people through her YouTube that supported her, and that's what Pokemon does. It creates friendships and, and bonds that you never thought possible. And it was with Pokemon that I found that I've connected with even more with friends like Guardi, Nick, Nikarasu Zephyr, DJ Hyrule. And it was also with Pokemon, with Wonder Trade Wednesday, that I that I was able to find you guys who supported me even though the support is small it still is very nice that I've just gotten some notice and I may not be as big as Shady Penguin as I would love to be as big as Shady Penguin or Duncan Knee Deep I just I'm just glad for it because I still made some friendships so yes, I would play Pokemon 20 years from now. And question seven, what three people do you tag to do this tag next? Okay, so I have thought about this for a bit and I was thinking that for three people that I wish to tag, I wish to tag Shady Penguin, and Nikarasu Zephyr, my best friend, and Duncan Knee Deep, who is becoming one of my, one of my among my favorite PokeTubers out there. So yeah, th those are my three people: Shady Penguin, 
Nikarasu Zephyr, and Duncan Needy. You guys have been tagged, and I, and I hope that you you uh you take up this challenge and tell us about your experiences, because. It would just be really interesting to hear them. And if Shady Penguin's already done it, then I guess instead of him... <laughs> I guess I choose um, Guardy, <laughs> my other friend. That's if Shady Penguin hasn't done one yet. So. But the three main people that I wish to tag. Shady Penguin, Nikarasu Zephyr, and... Duncan ED. You guys have been tagged. So that's it for me for this video. Before I end it, I'd like to send thanks to Junichi Masuda who sp spent so many hours of bringing, bringing in Pokemon uh, red and blue and green. Because if you haven't persevered through having to go through so many computers, I don't think we would have Pokemon to this day, and it's kind of a scary thought of imagining a world without Pokemon. So. Thank you, Junichi Masuda, for allowing us to make these memories. For many people, aside from me making these memories. Thank you. That's it for me for this video, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. I'm Alex Knight, goodbye.